What's up guys? Today we've got another HomeKit product review for you. Today we're gonna to take a look at the Yeelight Star Table Lamp featuring adjustable color temperatures, a clean minimalist design, and even built-in wireless Qi charging. Let's go. Yo, what's going on guys? Thanks so much for joining me again this week. For those new here, welcome. My name is Shane and on this channel I'm building an easy smart home using HomeKit with new videos published every single Sunday all about HomeKit. So like I said, today we're gonna be taking a look at the Yeelight Star Table Lamp Pro. Now this product was sent to me from banggood.com, so thank you banggood for sending me that. It's important you guys know I did not pay for this, but as always, you know, I'm gonna give you my honest feedback and opinions about this product. I did see recently that this was available on Amazon as well. Uh, some of the Yeelight products are starting to become available, it looks like on Amazon, but I did notice it was a little bit more expensive on Amazon and also reading some of the reviews, some of the people are saying they got, you know, the Chinese manual and stuff like that. So you still might be getting that Chinese version, I guess, even on Amazon. I was able to get a version with the uh, North American plug as well as a manual in English from Banggood, but it's just worth noting, you know, you may get the Chinese version, I guess, depending on where and how you get this product. At the time of recording, Banggood has this product listed at about $67, whereas Amazon has it listed at about $90 so a little bit difference there and I'll put links in the description for all the places where you can find this lamp you know shop around look around because looks like prices are gonna vary a little bit uh, depending on where you order this from this lamp does actually come in two versions the standard version and the pro version we have today the pro version right here the biggest difference being that wireless charging mat right here on the pro version pro version tends to be a little bit more expensive but not by too much from what I've seen so you know, in my opinion, if you have phones and devices with wireless charging capabilities, I would probably go ahead and get the pro version just to have that extra wireless charger. It connects via 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi, supports HomeKit, and works with both the Mi Home app as well as the Yeelight app. The box also indicates that it does work with uh, Google Assistant as well. Now I recommend using the Yeelight app. I did get this to connect through the Mi Home app as well, but only when I was connected to the uh, Chinese mainland server. So you have to have the region selected as Chinese mainland uh, in order to get this lamp to show up in the Mi Home app. So for that reason, you know, if you're in the US or other regions, I'd recommend probably just using the Yeelight app. Uh, you can pretty much do everything in the Yeelight app that you want to do anyways. So let's set this up with the Yeelight app first and then we'll connect it to HomeKit afterwards. So first open up the Yeelight app, find the star bedside lamp is what it's called in here. It'll ask you to reset the device to connect your Wi-Fi. You'll do this just by holding down the button and reinserting the adapter connector into the DC terminal on the back there until the light starts uh, this kind of breathing pattern. Choose next and enter your Wi-Fi password. Then your star lamp should show up. Select it and choose next. Once it's done setting up, rename the lamp if you want. Choose next. I turned off LAN control. There's no need for this if you're just using HomeKit. And that's it, all set up in the Yeelight app. And as you can see, it works just fine in the Yeelight app. Now let's go ahead and jump into HomeKit and get this thing into our HomeKit setup. Let's open up the Home app. As usual, just choose Add Accessory. We'll scan our HomeKit code. The code should be on the manual as well as the bottom of the lamp itself. Rename it, change the room, and add to any suggested scenes. And that's it. Connection was super easy. This thing got connected to the Yeelight app and HomeKit very easily. Uh, as you can see, no issues there. Now let's talk about what this lamp can do. 
It features adjustable color temperatures ranging from 2700 to 6500 Kelvin, giving you those cool to warm white variations. This does not give you actual color, so you can't change it to blue or pink or anything. It's just those white uh, color temperatures that you can control. It's not very big, coming in at just around a foot tall. The lampshade can be adjusted 30 degrees and cannot be changed or removed. This lamp also features a really cool backlight ring. It's a great little design touch, in my opinion, just for the overall design. It looks really great when you're using the lamp, as well as if you're using it for like the night light function, which we're gonna talk more about. I think it's just a great added little touch. It includes a single manual button here with uh, three functions. You have the just short press on and off. When If you long press when the light is on, it will adjust the color temperature and the brightness kind of cycling through that so you can see there. Uh, it's kind of limited in what you can do with the manual button. You can control it more with the app and with presets and things like that. And lastly, you have a double tap feature which uh, if the light is on and you double tap, it'll activate timer mode, which I think is 10 minutes default. As mentioned earlier, the pro version of this features that wireless charging pad that supports fast charging. It features a real subtle LED indicator light that you can see, it's like a yellowish light that lights up when it's charging and when your phone is fully charged, that LED will actually turn off. The LED will also flash quickly if there's an error or a foreign object is detected. It features a nice non-slip charging pad right here to ensure the phone stays in place. So it's kind of like a rubberized mat, it feels like. So that's really nice, you know, especially if you don't use a phone case or something, you have a real slick phone. It's not gonna slide off there every time you get a text message or something. And it has worked for me with the phone case on, the charging still works. Next, let's talk about one of my favorite features here, kind of a unique feature, and that's the night mode. Night mode is a really cool feature that allows this lamp to get very dim. So even if you drop most LEDs, including this one, if you drop it in its regular mode all the way down to 1%, as low as possible, it's still gonna be have a certain level of brightness. If you're in a completely pitch black room and you have this on 1%, it still might be a little harsh if you're trying to sleep or whatever. This has what's called night mode, which actually drops the brightness even further. Very similar to that bedside lamp that I did a review on recently. I'll put a link in the description below. Pretty much the same feature here that brightness can drop really, really low, uh, more so than most LEDs and smart lights that I've seen. And in my experience, this is just a great feature. I really like this because sometimes, especially if I'm watching TV or something in my bedroom late at night, you know, I do like to have those extra little lights on, but I really don't want them bright at all. So having that night mode as kind of like a night light, it's a really cool feature and probably one of my favorite things about this lamp. Now, a cool thing that you can do in the Yeelight app is you can actually set a time frame uh, for that night mode. So what this does is that even if you use the manual on and off button, so like normally when I turn it on like that, it's gonna be full brightness or whatever my default state is, which I can also set up in the Yeelight app. But if I set this time frame for my night mode, even if I push this uh, during that time frame, it'll go automatically into night mode. Now this also features a few other presets that are really cool. Again, very similar to that Bedside 2 lamp that we recently reviewed. You have uh, presets like the candle flicker, which is pretty cool. One of my favorites is the flash mode. So this does like a notify flash and it flashes your lamp like three or four times, which is really cool. And another huge benefit to this lamp is you can actually add uh, your custom scenes and modes two series shortcuts. This is a really great feature. This allows us to use series shortcuts to set things like the night mode, that candle flicker, the flash notify, or really any other custom preset that you can come up with. So let me show you how to do that real quick. We'll add the flash notify um, little preset to our series shortcut so that I can include that uh, custom preset in some of my bigger shortcuts and I can send a flash notify to my lamp whenever I want. Let's open up the Yeelight app and first we'll go into scenes and choose a new scene. We'll have to select an icon and then name it. Then we'll choose our star table lamp. We'll choose turn on a preset scene. Next we'll choose our flash notify and choose save. And then if you tap into the settings of that scene, you can add it as a series shortcut. And now it's available as a series shortcut that we can use manually, you know, in shortcuts or our widgets or whatever, or using Siri voice commands. 
And using these shortcuts is also a great way to kind of toggle on and off that night mode. You can include this in your nighttime scenes and shortcuts and things like that. So uh, really love the Siri shortcut capability here in the Yeelight app. So overall, I think this is a pretty solid HomeKit lamp. I think the quality does meet the price. You know, it's a little bit on the expensive side for a desk lamp. You know, you're paying between 50 and $100, again, depending on where you're getting it. But I don't think that's too bad uh, as long as it's good quality. And, you know, I think it's pretty solid. It's got some weight to it. That wireless fast charging is really nice. Uh, it seems to be made really well. It's great that we have the ability to adjust the color temperatures within HomeKit. So that means you can include this in your automations and scenes and change that color temperature really easily. Lamps like this will be great once we get that new adaptive lighting feature in iOS 14. So I'm really looking forward to that, meaning that the lamp color temperatures can change automatically through the day. I really like the clean minimalist design of this thing and that little kind of backlight ring on it is really nice. I, I just really like the design of it. I think it looks really nice and clean. It'll look great here on my white desk. I think I'm gonna keep it up here and you know use it for charging my phone and stuff when I'm sitting at my desk. I think this lamp would be great on a desk and maybe even better for a bedside um, you know because it has those night light features there. Uh, I can see this really being nice as a bedside lamp and charger. So is this lamp something you would consider putting in your home kit setup? Let me know if you have any questions or if I missed anything in the comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up. That does help other people find these videos and it helps out the channel a lot. Again, be sure to turn on those channel notifications so you don't miss out when we drop new home kit videos every Sunday right here. Thank you guys so much for joining me again. And until next week, we'll see y'all later.